What is going on? My name is Andrew and finally I'm uploading some videos here in 2014. If you watched my final video of 2013, you know that I had wanted to start uh, having this year be a year of transition for my playstyle. So it's, uh, I'm calling it evolving uh, my gameplay style. And in this video, I'm pretty much establishing my baseline for where I was at to where I want to go. And so, if you watched that kill, I thought that that kill was pretty BS at 60 frames a second. I hope it translates uh, at 30 frames a second. So, uh, after that kill, I decided to Wings of Redemption these guys and and get a chem strike against them uh, using uh, Wings style and essentially spawn trapping. Which uh, is something I don't really condone, but uh, Infinity Ward has made it so easy to do on this map in multiple game modes because uh, their spawn system is, is such garbage right now. Now, uh, I put in some transitions uh, some uh, where I sped up the gameplay and then I cut some gameplay. So let me know what you think of, of these moments when the gameplay is slow. Uh, do you want me to, to speed them up or do you want me to just cut them and... And get going with the video if I cut them I'll make the videos a little bit shorter and if I just speed them up it'll just uh, make them just a little bit faster than than what they currently are uh, so yeah in this gameplay pretty much the the spawn systems in, in ghost is pretty bad and as an intelligent uh, gamer I'm able to uh, quickly uh, understand the the spawn systems in games and so in, in, a, in a lot of my chem strikes I'm able to, to, to manipulate the spawn system into uh, my favor and so uh, the reason why I haven't been posting chem strikes on my channel is because essentially all my chem strikes are just knowledge of the spawns and and manipulating them to get a bunch of kills and that's what happens in, in, in this gameplay uh, on this map, Warhawk, in both Blitz and Domination, if they're holding the A flag, this uh, little uh, bar area is a dominant spawn. And if you hang around there, they're just going to be spawning around you and you just get, pick up some cheap, easy kills. But uh, that's not really what I want to talk about. You know, I don't, I don't want to talk about how to be a good spawn trapper. What I want to talk about is is how playing like this is bad not only for yourself but but for the overall integrity of the game playing like this is kind of cheap it, it's slow it's brutally painful to play i mean it's boring if, if i wasn't playing with with people i knew you know to, to where we were having a, a a conversation uh i think that that i would have just been bored with this game after like an hour i, I probably can only play this game solo right now for about I don't know maybe an hour uh, maybe two hours a day and uh, one of the things that I, that I have to learn to do and what this course of this series is going to be is to evolve to to not rely on the strengths of of um, or adapt my gameplay to the strengths of uh, teammates who are good I'm playing in, in this game only one of only one of the teammates is is actually a, a, a very good player. Um, the other guys are, you know, from bad to okay, and so um, you know, I thought that you know, essentially, I protected my life in this game, and and that's what playing defensive is. It's protecting your life, helping you to to live longer now. Um, the, the trick is to, to eventually do that while rushing and and hopefully uh, you know I, I can start to do that I don't know if I'll be able to make that full transition though until I get onto the Xbox one with its dedicated servers but uh, quick about the maps and, and the design the reason why I think this this game favors a slow defensive playstyle is because of the maps uh, not just the map design with all the, the head glitching spots or the cover spots it, it's the the fact that uh, with an exception of like four maps uh, which Warhawk is one of them uh, all the maps are just huge maps and when you don't have higher 
high player population per map size, the game just slows down naturally. That's why if you play a game like uh, Far Cry 3, for example, Far Cry 3 has giant maps, and there are 6v6 games, and so those games play extremely slow. And if we even talk about uh, Battlefield, the reason I don't play Battlefield on the Xbox 360 is because on the Xbox 360 and PS3, Battlefield is is such a huge maps with low player population. Uh, when you're talking about maps that are actually designed to have uh, 32 versus 32, and yet you're only playing, uh, what is that, 16 versus 16 or 12 v 12, something like that, you know, you're talking about... Uh, you know, 32 players are missing on, on a lot of these Battlefield maps um, on the 360 and PS3. So there's no reason to, to play those maps because, uh, you know, you're just going to gonna have a slow game. Now, what that kid was doing was he was, he was, he was doing what I call douchebag camping. And, and that is where you stay in, in one exact hiding spot and you're just waiting for someone to walk in front of you. You're not playing uh, King of the Hill style, which is what I essentially did for for this chem strike. And so, but players like that, you can easily out juke. And uh, you actually could have done that to, to someone who's, who's doing what I did in this game. You could actually uh, uh, defeat them. I, I know how to beat them. Uh, I'm just not going to share how to beat them in case people start doing this to me. Uh, and then I'll, I'll be able to beat them. And then if I have a good game, then I would post how to beat them. But I'm not just going to tell you how to beat them. Um, yeah, so uh, transitioning my gameplay. Um, I, ha I haven't been feeling well lately. That's why I haven't been uh, been gaming a lot. But uh, I'm going to start gaming once I start feeling a little better. And hopefully my internet stops screwing with me. It was kind of screwing with me over the, the New Year's period. And uh, I didn't get my uh, live streams up. But... Uh, as soon as uh, I'm feeling better, I'm going to start live streaming more. And, uh, yeah, so so make sure you follow me over at uh, Twitch slash uh, console HD, twitch.tv slash console HD, and you'll be notified when I go live. I don't post videos on YouTube when I'm going live because I think it's kind of cheap to post a 30-second video saying I'm going live. But if you follow me over on Twitter or you follow me uh, on on twitch.tv, uh, you'll be able to know when I when I go live. Now, uh, one of the, the ways in which you can, can ensure that you don't play defensive is that you don't use uh, LMGs. LMGs are like the worst class to use. Even though with this M27, I've learned to be more mobile with it. Uh, you're just so slow moving that, that you just can't rush. You have to play defensive uh, when you use an LMG. I think uh, Fisticuffs described it as uh, you have to set up when you use an LMG. You have to go to a spot and set up with them. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to stop using these LMGs as soon as I can. Uh, yep, so uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought of this video as a baseline video of where I was at to uh, then show where I want to go. So next video will be up on Wednesday. Thanks for watching. And as always, see you next time. What? No joke for the end. I normally try and say a joke if I have extra time, but couldn't think of one, so... See ya.